Ladies and gentlemen, Salam Mike, I'm Barbara Brigade. Today we got a live fixture form, a little bit of live coaching. We've got the one and only little homie Sev, who does all the editing and filming for the one and only Omar Esau. Uh, and sometimes when you have different relationships, boyfriend, girlfriend, boss, friend, older brother, whatever it might be, coaching or working that communication, sometimes a little bit more difficult. Uh, Omar does help Sev with a little bit of programming, uh, but I saw Sev squat and it's pretty decent, but there's some things I think I can tweak to make him a little bit more efficient, squat a little bit more weight, handle a little bit more volume long term. And then he mentioned to me that his bench is all over the place. So we're gonna try to find a form that's a little bit more optimal, efficient, and consistent for him. So stay tuned. Two videos on the way. Hit the thumbs up, turn on notifications, be sure to subscribe. We're gonna check out his normal form. I haven't talked to him yet. He's gonna squat. We'll show you some footage. I'm gonna come in coach and we'll do the same with the bench. Taking a look at his stance. Uh, there's multiple things that we're looking for in a squat, right? Uh, we wanna maintain neutral back. We wanna squeeze our traps together, our scapulas together. Keep a nice term, a nice firm platform for the bar to sit on. We wanna reach depth, hip crease below the knee and we would like our knees to be over our mid foot um, at the bottom of the squat. And that will look slightly different depending on how tall you are. Says probably around six foot, he's a little bit longer, so things may look a little bit different. Um, so he, he checks off all those boxes. He checks off all the boxes of what a good squat is. He's reaching depth, his back is tight, he's got a nice platform for the bar to sit on, uh, his spine is neutral, and his knees are basically over his mid foot. But now what we can do is start to tweak ourselves and start to find ways to be a little bit more efficient, a little bit more optimal, right? So nothing wrong with what's going on here, but if we can be more efficient, we may be able to handle more volume, more load long term. Sev did show me before his knee sleeves were on. He's got a little bit of wonky knee, and it's funny because everyone, anytime you coach anybody who's had any lifting experience at all, always has a list of excuses. Oh, I fell off my scooter when I was three, and now my shoulder points three degrees to the left. Well, that's all BS. Uh, but Sev's knee is actually pretty jacked up. His right patella is a slightly crooked, uh, for lack of a better term. I'm no doctor, but it's crooked. He said it doesn't hurt, so we're just going to make do with it. But we'll, the main thing we're going to fix in his squat, uh, or change in his squat, is just go slightly wider. So if we're going to go slightly wider, his toes, uh, his knees end up quite in front of his toes, which isn't bad. Your knees aren't going to explode or anything, but I think we can be more efficient <coughs> with reaching depth. The closer stance you are, the longer range of motion. Um, range of motion isn't the end all be all, right? Because then everyone will be squatting as wide as possible. Uh, there we don't have the rebound or stability. So it's kind of a balance of stability, balance, and uh, how much rebound you can get plus the range of motion. So for him, he's probably just at shoulder width stance. We're gonna go about two inches out each foot. Um, we're also going to make sure that his toes are straight. Because of that knee, I think naturally he has one toe that's a little bit pointed out a little bit more. Um, we can talk at, at length about uh, toe positioning in the squat. Typically, uh, we want anywhere from straight to maybe 15, 30%. It'll depend on the person, their mobility, and their levers. Um, each coach has their own preference. I think it'll depend on the person and how they move and where we can get those knees to look more optimal. And for him, we want those knees over the exact midfoot. So let's see a little bit wider on each side uh, and see how it looks. Everything else the exact same. Nice big breath, squeeze your back. There you go, point that left toe out just a hair more. There you go, and right toe straighter just a bit more. There you go. Now nice big breath, keep those knees over your midfoot. Atta boy, good. Feel the ground with your entire foot. Feel the ground with your entire foot. Easy. Nice and aggressive. Give me one more, nice and aggressive. Big breath, get in and out of the hole. In and out of the hole. Nice, hell yeah. That last rest pretty good. Yeah, how's it feel? Yeah, a lot of things with squats, uh, once you get like a form down uh, and you feel confident, obviously repetition, volume, getting used to that form, uh, then I call it pace. I don't know if there's an official term, but how fast you can descend while still being in control and how you can control that rebound and be a little bit more explosive. Uh, and that will look different based on person, um, but your groove's there. Like you're, you're, you're really consistent. So now it's just time to be aggressive. I'm used to pausing every rep. Yeah, which isn't uh, a bad, variation of a lift to get stronger or a bad tool to maybe use to control the hole but uh, overall it will take away from how much load you can lift. 